Oh. Oh, this is good. This is good. Mm. Look. Good chicken. Mm. Delicious, Rita. Something you found in the cupboard? No, actually, I uh, cooked it fresh. Really? You slaughtered a wild bird? Nope. A snake. Oh. <laughs> the one you macheted outside? Is it poisonous? No, it is not. I checked the guidebook. Mmm, something smells good. What's for breakfast? Snake. Oh, wonderful. I love snake. We used to have it all the time when I was sitting here. Mmm, delicious. Sweet, with a touch of nuttiness. Just like you. I'll bring to them. Well, eat up, because after breakfast, we're going to get a move on. A move on what? You, Luke, and Holly are going to turn yourselves in. Okay, you've got to be kidding. We did not come all the way over to the Mark Mylands just to turn our dads over to the cops. Well, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate that. Lulu, it's the only solution. My dad can tell the authorities that he's not a terrorist, and your dad can tell them everything that they need to know about the virus. Isn't she a tad naive for a Scorpio? Look, I'm serious. You have no reason to be on the run. We appreciate the sentiment, but we'd be fools to turn ourselves into the authorities. There's not a single reason why they should believe us. You'd be telling the truth. She gets this for my brother. Adam and I were never this gullible. And where does Holly fit into all of this? Mm, she can fend for herself. She can sell all her jewels to get out of trouble. I have one tiny problem with your idea. Oh, yeah, well, mine is not so tiny. Mine either. Okay, no offense. This is a terrible idea. We need to come up with a plan B. You know, Lulu, I am not big on lessons, but here's a good one for you. By sticking your nose in here, for whatever reason, you've only managed to lead the bounty hunters to our door. Luke's right. I mean, look, we know what we're doing here, believe it or not. You guys need to go in your own way. Right. Well, I'm not going to say it. Don't look at me. Okay. Um, here's the thing. All that stuff that you guys uh, used to do, jumping out of planes, the daring rescues. Evading firing squads. Defusing bombs. All of that. Um, it happened... A really long, 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 long time ago. What are you implying? It's been a few years since your last adventure. You're not the hot shots you used to be. You're a little older and a little slower. Slower? That's absurd. I can't tell you how strongly I resent this. Face it, Dad. You can't just do what you used to do. Don't talk to me like I've got one foot in the grave. You are in denial. I am not some decrepit old man who needs this snot-nosed kid to tell him what he can and cannot do. Do you understand? Go to hell. Such an amazing man, you really can be a clueless ass. Don't you start. You're absolutely right about all of it. Of course, I am considerably younger than you. Who your cares father. if I was right? It doesn't matter. My dad will never admit it. All I did was get him totally ticked off at me. Lily. I'm gonna teach you a lesson that'll serve you well in the future, whether you're dealing with your father or your brother, or a man you're trying to seduce. Let me guess. Eye of their faces. To put it bluntly, yes. Never imply that they're old or weak or deficient in any way. A woman can always win if she plays to a man's vanity. I love my dad, and I can't help worrying about him, even though I know it drives him crazy. He has a really low tolerance for hovering. Are you close to your father? No, not really. Everything fell apart ever since my mom got committed and, you know, I lived with my grandmother and he kept his distance until recently. And now I'm finally starting to get to know him and he's pulling his old tricks again of running off on adventures and leaving me and everyone else that cares about him in the dust. And you're worried that he's a bit long in the tooth for all the adventure. He could get himself killed. And that would really make me mad. 
I'm going to make you a deal. You and Robin and Dylan go back to Port Charles, and you let your father and Robert deal with the situation no, that's, here. No, that's exactly what I'm afraid of. My dad can't handle as much as he used to. And I promise you that if we get caught, we'll do what Robin suggested, and we'll cooperate with the authorities. With all these jewels, it shouldn't be a problem buying our way out of trouble, should it? I guess I don't have much of a choice. Thanks. You're welcome. Nina. Yeah. I didn't know your mother very well, but uh, you really look so much like her. Thank you. I, people tell me that a lot. Do they also tell you you have your father's personality? Well, not everyone thinks that's a good thing. <laughs> well, I certainly do. I think he's amazing, even with his adventure addiction. So, who do you like better, my dad or Robert? Here's another piece of advice. A smart woman never tells. You know, let's get out of here. It's not worth the trouble. Uh, you know, I, uh, well, I could stick around in case you need help. So smart. So young. No, Buckaroo, you go on. You need to keep an eye on the girls. No, yeah, of course. Hey, hey, call your wife. Tell her you're on your way home. Oh, uh, yeah, I will. It probably doesn't seem like it, but uh, I'm very grateful that you tracked us down. Maybe when we get back to town, uh, we could uh, have something to eat, um, talk a little. All right. Take care of yourself, Dad. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Lulu. I appreciate what you're trying to do here. plan to get out of here. Well, the plan is that uh, my pilot should be back soon. Huh. With a plane that only carries one passenger, which will be me, of course, since... Oh, we'll no, first. no, no, not in this crowd. We'll toss a coin. No, 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 I'll toss the coin. What, you don't trust me? Not all Scorpios are naive. Why don't we let Waldo decide which one of us he'd like to take first? No, oh, talk about a stacked deck. Hmm. Seems fair to me. Sure, it would. Yeah. What are you doing back? Oh, uh, there's a big, hungry-looking cat outside. Which may or may not be a jaguar. Whatever make it is, we'll handle it. Yeah, here's a cake. Okay, this is our domain, my dear. Shall we? We shall. Oh. Well, I still got it. Partner, what? not much resale value in that jag. Not bad for a couple of old bastards. You know what? I, I think it's it's that time we should hoist one. Come on, tails. Hands up, suckers.